Japanese researcher Masaru Emoto studied how thoughts affect our physical world. He experimented with three beakers of rice and water. Every day for a month, he said thankful words to the first beaker. For the second one, he spoke hateful phrases to the rice, such as, you're an idiot. He completely ignored the third beaker. After 30 days, the first beaker of rice gave off a pleasant scent and began to ferment. The rice in the second beaker turned black, and the rice in the third beaker started to rot. The worst rice samples is the one that was ignored. The same can be said in our daily lives when dealing with children. Ignoring children is the worst thing we can do. Even if we have to scold them occasionally, communication is very important. Communication, thoughts and behaviors have a frequency, which is why many cultures emphasize the importance of speaking, thinking and acting with integrity. And it's all about the words, the vibration, then the meaning that we give to those words, the vibration that we assign to those words. And this begins to help us to understand the true power of language in our lives. You did such a great job on this. Our thoughts could create static within the field. They could create, you know, interferences that get in the way of the things we're actually trying to manifest. We have all this subconscious thought that's also going on below the surface, and that creates a lot of ripples and static and unnecessary waves upon the field. And this begins to help us to understand how the power of a thought can influence the way that neurons connect, the way that entire neural networks connect, and our ability through those neural networks to communicate not only within us, but to the world around us. Our thoughts constantly affect the field, but what in the field influences our thoughts and consciousness? And what role does the brain play? When we observe the human brain, there's a few things that can be deceiving. Uh, one is that we think of it as the seat of consciousness. We think of it as this place where somehow consciousness is manufactured. I don't think that is accurate. You can think of the brain as like part of the antenna that the body is, is actually tapping into a field of information. 